Hey guys, so what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna be doing a tri-set side lateral raise with 30 reps. Whenever you're doing a side lateral raise, you'd never wanna, you never wanna have the, bar, the, the dumbbell come up like this. What we wanna do is we wanna keep all the tension on the muscle and have pinkies out and go like this. That way we can isolate the side lateral, side lateral of the delt. So we're gonna do 10 like that. And we're gonna be standing up straight so we're getting the, the side of the deltoid. Okay, and now we're gonna hit the side back of the deltoid, which is a very hard place to target. So we're gonna have Sammy lean forward and do the same thing and bring his elbows back as he goes up. Bring your elbows back to the bridge. There you go. And there, we're not getting the complete rear delt, but the side rear delt. Because delts are all about angles, and we have to hit it from every angle to get a complete shoulder cap. So now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing as many as Sammy can do to a front angled. So it's not in front of us, it's at an angle. Here we go. Now forward just a little more. There you go. And these burn, because when you're doing high reps with, with your delts, there's nothing that burns worse. Come on. Here we go. Two more. One more. Done. Now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing the Smith Machine military press. And the thing I like about the Smith Machine is it takes a lot of tension off the rotator cuffs, off the, the ligaments and in the, in the shoulders. And uh, I can position my elbows any way that I want while I'm working out and take tension off if my shoulders are stiff. So what we're gonna have Sammy do is we're gonna have him go down to his chin so he gets a slight stretch in his deltoids. And we're gonna have him go back up to where he's almost fully extended with his arms, but not quite. The biggest thing here is time under tension. So we wanna keep it controlled. We wanna keep all the tension on the muscle. So time under tension is what's gonna build strength, is what's it's gonna build muscle. Our other thing here is we're gonna be going heavier on this set. We're gonna be doing a lighter set with standing dumbbells to finish off. Now these are a variation of an Arnold press. So we're gonna start out in a hammer position and we're gonna go up and rotate. And we're gonna go, we went eight to 10 reps on the Smith machine and we're gonna go 12 to 15 reps here on the dumbbells. So one of the things that we wanna focus on here, we're gonna be doing rear delts, a superset. We wanna put our shoulders forward. That way it isolates the rear delt and takes the back out of it. And we're gonna do palms in and we're gonna do rear delt lateral raises on an inclined bench. As you can see, Sammy's rear delt right here, just popping. Solid as a rocket and lots of blood flow in there. And we, when we finish these off with a partial, so all that Sammy's doing is just bringing these shoulders back in like a slight row. Just boom, just barely comes back. Just a, it's, it's just a slight row. He's kind of pulling with his elbows to just get that last bit of contraction in those rear delts. All right, we're gonna give our rear delts a break real quick and we're gonna jump into a, our front delts. And what we're gonna do, Sammy's gonna bring his wrist down and he's gonna come up to his chin and then come back down where he doesn't touch his torso, right there, keeping constant tension on the muscle. So we're gonna do like eight to 10. You can go faster if you want, but just don't touch the torso and don't go above your chin. There's a range here we wanna stay at the chin. We don't wanna go higher than the chin because we want to just have all the tension on that front delt. And then we don't want to give it a break by coming and slamming it down on our body. One of the biggest things is keeping that tension on there. When you, the more you have your wrist cocked down, the more tension will be on those front delts. And then we're gonna finish it off with a 25 pound plate. So we're gonna do five, like this, where he's gonna turn it. And these burn after you just did front delt bar raises. And then five regular, just to the chin. Here we go. Come on. There we go. Nice. All right, so it's the little tricks with shoulders that mean the most. Um, one of the things that, I, that you see a lot of people do is they, they're doing, we're doing a, a cable rear delt. And so Sammy, do a, do a couple reps. And everybody stands just like this, where they're facing um, 
in the direction of the cable. But what we want to do is we want to turn slightly towards that so we get a pulling movement. So it's not this, it's this. And that's what isolates that rear delt. All right, so now we're finishing off and we're gonna be doing shrugs, plate shrugs and upright rows. We're gonna be doing as a last giant set just to annihilate the shoulders, the traps, and we're going to uh, do five sets, pretty much a failure on almost every set. And uh, we're gonna try to get at least like eight to 10 on the, on the shrugs and then go to failure on the other two. So Sammy right here is doing a, a Smith machine shrug. He's going, stretching all the way down with his shoulders, coming up and squeezing his shoulders to his ears as high as he can get them. And then we're gonna jump right into plate shrugs. And so with these, we, we, our grip was in the front of us. Now it's going to the side of us, so we're gonna hit a little bit different part of our trap. So let's go up and squeeze. Just squeeze, there you go. And now we're finishing off our giant set with some upright rows. Upright rows are a staple with my shoulder workout. I won't do a shoulder workout without upright rows. I love the way they hit my shoulders. They build a strong cap. They really round out my shoulders like nothing else does. And so we're finishing, we're, we have a light, con comparative to what most people's um, upright row, we have a light bar, but we're, we're fried, we're spent, we've hit it hard. And so we're coming up, shoulders high, I mean elbows high, and uh, getting, getting in a good squeeze to finish off those shoulders. Thanks guys for watching our shoulder workout. Um, we're gonna be posting training tips, new videos all the time on our YouTube channel, Warrior Feel Supplements. One of the things that I wanna plug, I can't stress the, the importance of this product right here. Warrior Feel TVT Rip has been insane. It's a, it's a, I call it the game changer because you'll get insane pumps, insane focus, energy that will you can work out for four hours if you can handle it. And so thanks for watching our stuff. We're excited to, to continue to bring you guys new workouts, new stuff, and we appreciate your support. Uh, you can get at me anytime on Instagram. Uh, IG is underscore Mr. Sammy C or follow us on Facebook. If you guys want to see any specific workouts, training videos, anything, leave comments, let us know and we'll get it to you.